All right, people, let's do some of these review problems on this test here, all right? Uh, let's see. Write the correct formula for each sodium hydroxide. Sodium is plus one, hydroxide is minus one, so that's just NaOH. How about magnesium sulfate? Magnesium is plus two, sulfate is minus two, so well, that's just MgSO4. That works. Those are easy. All these look very easy. Let's try this. Label as soluble or insoluble. Silver sulfate. I'll look up here on page six. All sulfates are soluble except calcium, strontium, bar ooh, except silver. So this is insoluble. Let's try, let's try calcium chloride. Uh, all chlorides, all chlorides are soluble. All chlorides are soluble except silver, lead, and mercury. Well, That's soluble then. That's not one of the exceptions. All right. Balance the following equation by adding coefficients to the blanks. All right. Let's try. Uh, let's try number thirteen. I've got two nitrogens and one nitrogen. They had two there. Well, that gave me six bromines. Two times three. So I'm put a three there. One, three, two. What type is that? Synthesis. Um, that's it. That's enough balancing. How about just circle the precipitate? This one didn't even ask you to balance. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's our, our products over here on this side. Sodium nitrate. Look that up. All nitrates are soluble, so that's not a precipitate. Copper to chloride. All chlorides except lead and mercury, that's not an exception. So there's no precipitates in the first one. That'd really just be no reaction. Now let's try number 29. So these are the obviously aqueous because they're the reactants. Sodium chloride, that's table salt. All chlorides are soluble, so that's soluble. And let's see, calcium carbonate. Uh, all carbonates are insoluble except group one. All right. So that is the precipitate right there. Okay. Uh, also, if you look at number 28, there's a water there. Water counts as a precipitate. All right. Finish and balance and circle the precipitate or write NR. How about... This, how about we take a look at, how about, this is a single replacement reaction. Magnesium and cobalt. Let's see, is magnesium better looking than cobalt? Will chlorine leave cobalt for magnesium? We look on the top of page seven. And we see that here's cobalt right here. And magnesium is up here. So magnesium is better looking. So. Magnesium will take cobalt's girlfriend, so it's going to have magnesium. The formula for magnesium and chlorine is MgCl2, right, because magnesium is plus 2, chlorine is minus 1. And then now it leaves our cobalt by itself. So that is the precipitate. That's a precipitate. Or a solid. You could just put solid if you want to. You would see that metal in the water. The magnesium you put in there would disappear, and then you would see the cobalt appear. And let's see if we uh, finish and balance. All right, we're going to balance. So I've got two chlorines there, so I need a two there, two there. That's it. One, two, one, two. I hope that helped. All right, let's skip on. Finish and balance and circle the precipitate. Okay. Uh, let's choose a. Uh, 
Let's choose 43 and 44. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, aqueous. And strontium sulfate. Strontium is plus 2, so that's SrSO4. That's, let's see if that's aqueous. All sulfates are insoluble except group 1 and group 2. Strontium's in group 2, so that's aqueous. Now let's switch their partners and see if something would happen. Sodium would now be with sulfate, so that's Na2SO4. You have to write the correct formula every time. And now strontium, which is plus 2, is with hydroxide, so that's SRONH2. Let's see if this is a precipitate. All right. All hydroxides except group 1 strontium. Ooh, except strontium. So that is also aqueous. So guess what? No reaction. I did not see that one coming. All right, and then... I'll do this complete right here. Potassium sulfide, K2S, aqueous, and magnesium chloride, MgCl2, aqueous. It's a given that these are aqueous. They're mixed. Now potassium is going to be with chloride. That formula is KCl. We can look up the chlorides. All chlorides are soluble. AQ, and then now magnesium's with sulfide. Magnesium sulfide. Let's see if this will be a precipitate. All sulfides are insoluble except group 1 and group 2. So magnesium sulfide is also aqueous. So this whole thing was an NR. Nothing happened. So I'll do this one. I did this one on the board for some people. I'm going to do this one fast, okay? Now I'm going to put my ammonium with nitrate, and that's aqueous. You could look that up. And now we've got calcium carbonate, which is a precipitate, okay? Trust me on that. So now we're going to go through here, and we're going to balance this. I'm going to need a 2 here, and that gives me 2 nitrates, two, so 1, 1, 2, 1. Now we're going to split these up. I've got 2 NH4s that are plus 1, and I've got a carbonate that's minus 2, and I've got 1 calcium that's plus 2, and 2 nitrates that are negative 1. See what I'm doing? I'm just pulling out all these ions, all these ions that I have. And then that's going to give us two ammoniums that are plus one floating around the water and two nitrates. Because see that two goes to that nitrate also. Two nitrates that are negative one and a calcium carbonate that's stuck together. Okay. So that's the complete ionic equation, and then the net is only the things that make calcium carbonate. So that carbonate, negative 2, and a calcium, positive 2, make calcium carbonate precipitate. All right.